When we're playing video games, we don't want to go out like a chump. We want to go out in a blaze of glory and get right back into the action. But sometimes the way we end up going out in video games just doesn't make us feel too smart about our playstyle. Welcome everybody to It's All Viral, Nemo here, and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 dumbest ways to die in video games. Now be honest guys, let us know if you've done any of these on this list, if you don't mind embarrassing yourself. But if we're being completely honest, I've probably died by every single one of these on this list, and I'm sure you guys have as well. But that's probably just because I'm bad at video games. We're running a $200 Amazon gift card giveaway for the entire month of August. All you have to do to enter is like this video, be subscribed, turn on your notifications, and leave a comment on why you want to win it with your Twitter handle attached. I will announce the winner at the end of the month on Twitter. I want to wish everybody the best of luck for our August giveaway. Guys, do us a favor and turn on your post notifications to get every single It's All Viral video at your fingertips as soon as they're uploaded. All you have to do is click that bell and check that box and you'll be good to go. So without further ado, guys, let's get into the top 10 dumbest ways to die in video games. At the number 10 spot is using the WASD keys when your chat is open. This is a fairly common one in the world of PC gaming. Many PC games have a chat function that allows you to quick text chat in the same way console games have quick voice chat. But the difference, however, is that console games, you're not chatting with your controller and with PC games, you are chatting with your keys. So it's pretty common to see someone type in the chat spamming the WASD keys over and over again, thinking that they're moving, but then, you know, they're just typing in chat and then they die hilariously. Why? Well, they forgot to close their chat window. While it happens to just about everyone from time to time, we can't say it's not hilarious to watch. That's the main reason whenever I'm typing in chat, I always press the enter key twice after I've finished the message, just so I make sure that I'm not in the chat window. Now this is less likely to happen if you're experienced with PC gaming, but if you're like a complete noob, then I'm sure you've done this before because it happens to the best of us. At the number nine spot is using explosives at close range. In just about every action game, you have explosive weapons, and usually they're some of the strongest at your disposal. However, you have to make sure that you are a safe distance away from them before you set them off. Unfortunately, not everyone is that bright. Whether you forgot you planted the grenade so close to you or misjudged the distance of that rocket launcher, it definitely doesn't make you feel great when you kill yourself with your own explosive. Or if we're playing a game like Modern Warfare 2, I deliberately shoot the RPG right next to somebody at the ground so it kills myself and them. There's nothing better than doing that to people. It is so hilarious. At the number eight spot is fall damage, AKA the mortal enemy of perhaps every person that plays a first person shooter. Fall damage is absolutely infuriating when it decides to strike. There is never a situation where you take fall damage and it doesn't end up burning you in one way or another. Be it because you lost health and died early in that next gunfight or because you just died from the fall itself. Dying because you misjudge the distance from yourself to the ground definitely doesn't make you feel like you're a badass. Maybe you should invest in some moon shoes. Remember those? No? All right, moving on. Moving down the list at the number seven spot is using your health too early. Now in certain video games, you have the ability to carry health packs along with you as you play. But tell me if this sounds familiar. You're full on health and you accidentally use a health pack. And then you get into a battle and you're almost out of health. So you reach for that health pack and you think, oh wait, I've already used it on accident. And then you die because of it. I know for a fact everyone's done this. No need to have any shame about using your health packs too early, but you can't say you felt smart when you did it. At the number six spot is one of the biggest side quests in all of the Legend of Zelda, and that has to do with those little chickens named the Kukos. If you've ever played the Legend of Zelda series, then you know at some point in the game, usually at the beginning, there is always a side quest that has to do with the Kukos. And it usually involves rounding all of them up and putting them back in their cage for their owner. But I guess some people get annoyed of the Kukos and they decide to attack them. Well, if you haven't played the Legend of Zelda, don't attack the chickens. Just don't. It's not going to end well for you if you attack the chickens. It doesn't matter which Zelda game you're playing or how harmless those little birds may seem, don't attack the chickens. But if you're one of those rebels that likes to live life dangerously, then go do it. Go pick up the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and go attack a Kuko and watch as they all come swarming down to kill you. And I'm not saying one chicken. Every single chicken in the world goes and attacks you and destroys you. The best place to do it is just go to Kakriko Village and go attack one. Okay, everybody, we are getting into the top five dumbest ways to die in video games at the number five spot. We have digging straight down in Minecraft. 
Minecraft is the most popular game in the entire world with over 122 million copies sold. But with all of those copies out in the world, you would think less people would still be making this mistake. Not many games give you the creative freedom that Minecraft does, as it allows you to jump into the world, collect resources, and use them to create a whole new land to your liking. While you may be tempted to dig downwards, as most of the juiciest and rarest resources are further down in the game's world, digging too far down will either send you plunging into the abyss or just drop you into a pool of lava, both of which will kill you instantly, which forces you to start all over again. Just make do with what you have in your inventory and resist the urge to dig down. Or if you do decide to dig down, use some caution. This is by far the most important rule in all of Minecraft. And if you really want some diamonds, don't be lazy. Just dig yourself some stairs, go to Y12 and start strip mining them diamonds. And if you don't feel like making a staircase, just find yourself a cave system and go down, but don't get lost. At our number four spot, we have checking your cell phone. Everyone likes to be social if that's on Twitter or if that's on text message or even on Facebook, even us gamers do. But sometimes being too social can come back to bite us. Tell us if this sounds familiar. You're playing an online game and you die or you have a little downtime near the objective, so you decided to take that time to check your phone. But as soon as you put your phone down, you're dead. Or maybe you have that little panic moment where you desperately try to throw your phone down and to pick up your controller to try to save yourself, but to no avail. I can't count the amount of times that I've been playing Battlefield or Mario Kart and I get a tweet on my phone, so I check it and then I either lose the race or I die a painful and humiliating death. Granted, I'm probably going to lose the race or die anyway, but that's not the point. Just about everyone who plays online games has died as the result of checking their phone. Gaming gets a lot harder when there's no pause button. So best of luck out there if you're trying to text people and game at the same time. It's not going to end in your favor. Now at the number three spot is using the wrong control scheme. With many games, there are a ton of different control schemes that you can use to best benefit your playstyle. But have you tried to play a game on a different control scheme after you've gotten used to a particular one? Well, you're not alone. Perhaps you're at your friend's house and you pick up a game but forget to change your button layout, or perhaps your game just decides to switch you back to your default layout. Chances are if you play a video game on a button layout that isn't default, You've gotten screwed over by this at least once. I can't count the amount of times that I've played COD and I've tried to crouch, but I knifed instead due to my layout being tactical and not default. So now we have the top two dumbest ways to die in video games. And at the number two spot, we have walking into the side of a spike. If you're a fan of platforming video games, you're probably very familiar with those dreaded spikes. I don't know what it is about game developers putting spikes in their platforming games, but they do and they suck. But some of these developers decide to be extra evil while developing their game and elect to not only put hitboxes on top of the spikes, but on the sides of the spikes as well. This never fails to get you killed in dumb, hilarious, and infuriating ways as your character just walks into the side of a spike and drops dead for no reason. What I personally think is really crazy is there's people that play Mario Maker and they love levels that literally have all spikes. I don't know how they could do that. I would rather rip my hair out and fling myself off the Eiffel Tower than play a whole level that's made out of spikes. I would even go to say that that's the reason the Wii U failed is because these dumb Mario Maker levels that are literally filled with spikes. That's why I got rid of my Wii U. Now, maybe that wasn't the full reason, but nevertheless, whichever developer had the bright idea to put spikes in video games, I'm looking at you, Nintendo. You are the bane of my existence. Now last, but very not least, at the number one spot, we have dropping a care package on your head. This last entry on our list today may be limited to just a few games, but it's just too dumb not to put it at the top of our list. If you play the franchise Call of Duty or any other online shooter that features airborne equipment drops, you know how exciting it is to get those killstreaks. But sometimes you get a little too excited and forget where you actually position them and end up dropping that care package or emergency airdrop right on your head and end up hilariously crushing yourself to death. Sometimes you don't even have to forget where it is. You can be standing in a totally safe spot and your care package takes an unlucky bounce, sending it speeding into you and blowing you away as your teammate teabags your dead body and takes your hard earned killstreak. While it's not the best sportsmanship to teabag your teammate, if you got killed by your own kill streak, we can't say that you didn't have it coming. Thanks a lot, Infinity Ward, for such a great idea. 
guys that's gonna wrap it up with the top 10 dumbest ways to die in video games let us know down below which one was your favorite and if you've done any of these and if you have suggestions for top 10s yourself click the link in the description good luck to everybody that enters our giveaway do us a favor and turn on your post notifications all you gotta do is click that bell check that box and until next time everybody this has been your boy nemo from it's all viral and i will see you guys on the next top 10